Very good morning, students. So today we are moving further with the chapter number eight in English grammar. Okay. So we have already done exercises A, B, and C. Okay. Now we are moving ahead with the exercises D. But before that, we will uh, start with this topic that is types of sentences. Now we already learned about sentences. Okay. Sentences. What are they? Group of words that makes a complete sense. Okay. So now. Now first, so over here we are been, uh, having three types of sentences. Okay, in this chapter, see a sentence that says or states something is called a statement. Now first one is statement. Okay, types of sentences mein first one is statement. Statement kya hota hai? Wo sentence that says a uh, says or states something. Jo humko kuch bataya kuch state kar do. Statement jaisa ho that is called a statement. Some strong feeling is called. 
संजीव इस रीडिंग में संजीव इस व्हाट संजीव क्या है सब्जेक्ट एंड इस रीडिंग जो एक्शन है दैट इस अ प्रीडिक्ट ओके ये वाला मार सी संजीव इस एस इस मीन सब्जेक्ट एंड इस रीडिंग इस पी दैट इस प्रीडिक्ट ओके सी संजीव इन द गिवेंस इन द सेटमेंट के अंदर आओ संजीव इस सब्जेक्ट ऑन द लिविंग पार्ट अब यहाँ पे क्या है संजीव सब्जेक्ट है या लिविंग पार्ट भी कैसे है इट टेल्स अस व्हाट द सेंटेंस इस अबाउट किसके बारे में वो सेंटेंस है एंड नेक्स्ट इस रीडिंग इस द प्रेडिकेट ऑफ द एक्शन पार्ट वो एक्शन क्या कर रहा है दैट इस द प्रेडिकेट ओके मींस इस रीडिंग यहाँ पे इट टेल्स अस समथिंग अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट जो सब्जेक्ट के बारे में वो कुछ बताता है दैट इस द प्रेडिकेट ओके नाउ सी इन द डेफिनेशन इफ द सब्जेक्ट डेफिनेशन इज देयर अ लिविंग पार्ट इज कॉल्ड द सब्जेक्ट यू वुड राइट एग्जांपल संजीव इज रीडिंग एंड देन मार्क संजीव एज द सब्जेक्ट ओके एंड इफ प्रेडिकेट इज कमिंग एन एक्शन पार्ट इज कॉल्ड द प्रेडिकेट राइट द सेम एग्जांपल संजीव इज रीडिंग एंड इस रीडिंग को मार्क करना एज द प्रेडिकेट ओके चिल्ड्रन नाउ वी मूव टू जी एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन जी Match the subjects in column A with suitable predicates in column B to form meaningful sentences. Okay. Now here we have to form meaningful, that is proper sentences, complete sense वाले sentences हम को बनाने हैं by matching A and B. Okay. Now see your subjects are given in A and here in B column predicates are given. So first one the frogs croak in the pond. Okay, frogs का sound, the frogs croak in the pond. Number two, the cook. Here we can see number two, the cook made a delicious salad. Okay, now here what we have to do? We don't have to make or draw lines. We have to write the numbers as we are doing. Okay, numbers लिखते हैं हम तो इनके after the sentence. ठीक है? So here one, here two made a delicious salad. Now three, the duck. Okay, the duck quacks in the lake. So you have to write number three. Okay, number four, the camel. The camel is called the ship of the desert. You have to write number four. Number five is clouds. Now your clouds give us rain. So we write number five here. Six one, the earth. Okay, now the earth uh, is round in shape. Okay, so here we know earth is round. Okay. Or the sound and shape here we write number six. Number seven the stars twinkle at night. That is number seven we write here after the word night. The stars twinkle at night. These are very easy sentences to write. Last one sheep. Sheep uh, sheep gives us give us wool. Okay. Sheep give us wool. So we write number eight over here. Okay children. So G we have done. We have completed the whole chapter. Okay, we did uh, the types of sentences and the parts of sentences also, and we did the remaining exercises that is D, E, F, and G. Okay, so this completed in your English grammar textbook and the definitions in your notebook and then learn. Okay, children.